Um, your review on Trump gonna react to how Lil Uzi Vert, um, producer sold his, sold his career, literally. This is the story of a young producer who had the dream opportunity of a lifetime, who had then quite literally sold it away, demonstrating the number one thing you should never do in the music industry. The selfish decision that Philadelphia producer Forza made back in 2019 could have very easily ended his music career. In fact, it kinda did. After getting publicly exposed by his high school friend Lil Uzi Vert on Twitter, Forza lucky I ain't fuck him up, bitch ass nigga, like I ain't know he was stealing and selling my music. We should have stomped you out. Damn, Lil Fuzzy was on hot when he tweeted this. Forza's career was never the same. Is that a Forza beat? If it is, um, no. He was kicked out of the hottest producer group in the game working on Dying, and as of today, none of his songs with Uzi have ever released. To make matters worse, after one of their leaked collabs was remixed with a new beat and went viral on TikTok, much to the dismay of Forza, the song would officially drop. However, there are two sides to every story, and despite Forza declining to do an interview with me, something he did mention though in this email, along with Uzi's recent Rolling Loud performance, leads us to believe that this story may actually have a happy ending. So make sure to stick around for the end. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> bro, I'm about to cry, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga really about to cry. The chance to work with the hottest artist in your city is the dream of any upcoming producer. However, it was extra special for this one. Forza and Lil Uzi Vert have known each other since they were little kids. They played youth football together and remained pretty close throughout high school in Philly. Forza was also good friends with the founders of the producer group Working on Dying, which at the time was just Filthy and his younger brother Oogie Man. Wake up, Filthy. Oogie Man. The three would skateboard together almost every day in middle school since Forza lived nearby. So I was like, start skating and shit, you know, you know, we just start talking and everything, like, we've just been cool for, since then, like, sixth grade and shit, like. Inspired by the underground scene, Filthy was the first one to try his hand at producing, before then passing his knowledge down to his brother. His brother Oogie Man also attended Northeast High School alongside Forza, Uzi, and Lucy Man and Brandon Finessen, two more current members of the group. Back in 2012, it was some high school kids playing around on Fruity Loops, but after grinding for years and adding a few new members, today Working on Dying features some of the hottest producers out. I'm sure you've heard at least one song with their iconic tag. The collective had formed a very close working relationship with Uzi through the years, from landing placements on his debut mixtape to then having their hands on some of Uzi's biggest hits in his career. This trust that the group had- Like, I like- Like, so, some of these shits that, like, Lil Uzi, that y'all see, uh, like, on the screen right now, don't- The, um, the San- San- Gang, The San Gang Paradise, The Racks, um, Myron, Felt So Shuffle, those are the songs that I like, those, those are fire songs, them shits was fake nice, I ain't gonna lie. That is what makes Forza's actions in 2019 even more unfortunate. Forza himself had been landing placements with artists such as Maddox, Blade, and Lucky, as well as unreleased tracks heard with Playboy Cardi, Juice World, and, of course, his good friend Lil Uzi Vert. These still unreleased Uzi songs include, of course, Watch This and 1600 to name a few. It's very likely these tracks were going to appear on Uzi's long-awaited second studio album, Eternal A Take, giving Forza the big break he'd been waiting for his whole life. With an estimated 100 plus songs recorded with Uzi during the making of the project, it was no surprise to see working on dying members all over the final track list. However, Forza was nowhere to be found. But that also wasn't surprising given what went down just three months prior. November 29th, 2019. At the time, 23-year-old Forza was in serious need of some money. To put it simply, he was broke. As a result, Forza would then decide to take the easiest bag possible and sell unreleased Uzi songs he had stored on his computer. Going behind your artist's back, and in this case, your homie's back, and selling songs to leakers is a guaranteed way to lose your trust. And we know from the past that Uzi is definitely not a fan of leakers, as he's not only stated that leaks are often the reason for delays in his rollouts, but that Nah, some of these rappers' songs do be getting leaked, bro. Like, some of these rappers' songs do be getting leaked. Like, for example, NBA Youngboy, he got a mad unreleased songs that, 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 that got leaked, bro. Like, 
but all right what is but the songs that was like was like unreleased that was that got leaked on on the tool was it was fire though but like I don't know, um, I don't know what, um, what young boy producer had, I don't know what, like, you know, NBA young boy producer, like, he was doing, bro, but, you know, bro, like, y'all can't, y'all can't like young boy songs, <laughs> when he shits was unreleased, damn, whatever, y'all, y'all get the point, man. Don't pull my phone on and embarrassed him in this viral video. Like, I should be slapping this shit out your frail ass. Stand up. Skinny ass, bitch ass, nigga, sit down. What the f is wrong with you? But after a fan page would DM Uzi the screenshot of Forza trying to sell his songs, he would immediately call him out on Twitter. Forza lucky I ain't F him up like I ain't know he was stealing and selling music. We should have stomped you out, but just kicked you out your sweet pitch sleep outside. If you don't know, this is who was leaking and selling. I know you call this shit. Uzi had every right to be pissed off. It was originally rumored that Forza had leaked around 10 unreleased Lil Uzi songs. However, as we'll see in a second, Forza would later claim this to not be true. But regardless, it was all a very bad look for him and the entire Working on Dying collective. They were forced to take action. Working on Dying's relationship with Uzi is still strongly intact. We have taken the necessary steps to resolve the issue surrounding the security of his art. That necessary step was sadly removing Forza from the group, ending both their working relationship as well as long friendship. You know, I just want to get in front of this to say that, like, working on dying as a collective isn't involved in shit. It was one person who was a part of our collective that decided to do some dumb shit, and there are consequences to that. But according to Forza, the situation had been blown way out of proportion. First, he would take to Instagram and share his side of the story. When you dedicate three years to working with one artist while they continue to make millions and you don't make a single penny, then come talk to me. It's not like I was being paid and was just being greedy. Couldn't even pay for rent. Dudes wasn't even gonna help me buy a new laptop when mine broke. I have a family and bills, you people as sheep. Unfortunately though, that's how the music industry works. Producers typically don't get paid for their beats until the artists and labels officially release the songs. But some fans argue that Uzi was in the wrong for recording over Forza's beats than just stashing them. And I guess considering how rich Uzi is, he could have easily slid his homie a little cash. What's good, bro? Can you pay for my college tuition? How much is your college tuition? 90 grand, I go to Temple, bro. 90 grand? I could pay for that. Forza would also claim that the nigga said he could pay for that. Make all the Uzi songs himself. When we sold Lucky Minaj in Thailand, somebody hacked for the rest. I was hurt when Fake from the Jump released. Forza explained, Why would I make of course in 1600? They actually had potential to be hit songs. Well, it's definitely possible that Forza is telling the truth about getting hacked. I already did a whole video from that crazy business too if you want to check it out. But regardless of whether or not the songs Forza sold were two throwaways or if they were indeed intended for the album, he still admitted to selling Uzi his music without his permission, which is not cool, despite just tweeting about how much he himself hates leaks. Forza could have worked another job to make some money and get by, because again, if he would have waited a few more months, he would have had at least one placement on Eternal to take, but it was also a very tough situation and we don't know the full details. After tweeting this concerning cell phone tweet following the follow, it was later reported that Forza had joined the Marines in 2021, which seemed to get a laugh out of Uzi. This was really looking like the last we'd ever hear about Forza. What Forza did, but please God drop watch this, it's been almost three years sad face. Is that a Forza beat? If it is, um, no. To make matters worse, in February of this year, we would finally see one of Forza and Uzi's long-awaited songs officially drop. However, Forza's beat had been replaced. The track titled Watch This was initially previewed on Instagram back in 2019 and was expected to be on Eternal Take. But after the song and the music video leaked in its entirety, maybe by Forza himself or as he claims by a hacker, producer Arizona Tears would remix the track with a new plug-in beat type of beat. This remix quickly went viral on TikTok and led to Atlanta Records then releasing the song on all streaming platforms, going on to chart in many countries. And it was Forza's turn to be pissed. This shit effing sucks, I hate y'all TikTok people. The effing disrespect.
It's hard to not feel bad for Forza here, but I guess at the same time he did bring it upon himself. I miss my brother's man hate how everything turned out. I gave up on producing, gonna finish my masters and disappear. However, right when all hope seemed lost and Forza was ready to call it quits, less than a week after this tweet, Lewis and Bert would headline Mama and Kelly back in March. A one song he played instantly brought Forza, as well as a lot of his fans, to tears. Okay, then. I'm about to cry, bro. I'm about to cry, bro. I'm about to cry, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uzi performed his unreleased song, of course, live on stage. A fan favorite grail produced by Forza back in the Eternal Attack era. Many fans take this as a sign that the two have made amends, and that Uzi might even include, of course, on his upcoming pink. So wait, like, so he, so look, Uzi did a song that um. Uzi performed that song on world stage with Forza's, Forza's, you know, like, beat, that, with Forza, like, damn, okay. I reached out to Forza to see about hearing directly from him, he declined, which is totally respectable, but it was his reasoning that I found interesting. I'm not exactly sure how cool they are, but after hearing this and after seeing Uzi perform, of course, I think the two are at least on better terms now. These past few months, Forza has been going live while making beats on his Twitch channel, Planet Forza, in which he also mentioned this good news during a recent stream. I've been talking to a and so... I'm gonna send it with, definitely with a pack that I'm working on right now for sure, so. Forza is also not the only producer to ever be accused of selling unreleased songs. From big names like Jetson Maid being blamed for Cardi leaks, to even producers like Murda Beats who admitted to selling songs for some easy cash. Because I used to leak the Migos music. Did you really? On purpose? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. If they weren't gonna use the song, I would just drop it on my SoundCloud and the blogs would pick it up. What Forza did back in 2019 was undoubtedly wrong. However, he's not the first producer to sell leaks and he definitely won't be the last. It was not an easy situation and I'm sure he regrets his decision looking back. As now a 27 year old soon to be father, I really hope he can find some peace. Almost four years later, it appears that Forza and Uzi are both attempting to do that. Put this behind them and move for- Okay, that's the vid, like, okay, um, let me know what y'all think, bro, like, do y'all think it's appropriate that, um, like producers like leaking these rappers songs without the, the rapper's permission let me know bro and comment and comment like like what is your favorite little uzi song bro like comment down below all right make sure y'all like comment subscribe y'all the vibes let me just check out you are